The question I had is on romantic relationships and my vibration around that. They've all been really short, um, like three week to maybe three month relationships. And I feel like I've gotten a lot out of them and I feel like I'm moving to the right place. But I don't know, I feel like there's this resistance or something else that's keeping me back. Well, we can tell you what it is. You're really not wanting to fall in love with anyone because they're flaky. <laughs> in other words... What, what we mean by that is you can't count on others being joyful you can really we're reflecting in words what we can feel in your vibration in other words when you let yourself really care about someone then you feel like you put yourself in a vulnerable place because you can't control the way you feel when you care about someone who does not seem to have control of their own experience and so tell us the last relationship how long was it um, it was about four weeks and it ended um, just a few days before Valentine's Day and, um, but it was really good I mean he was well, very we open that, and caring what was the reason that it ended um, he said he met someone else that he felt more comfortable with and I felt like that he was feeling more for me than he wanted to so soon and he got scared and I asked him that and he said he didn't know that he just couldn't explain it and, um, the reason that we're probing a little bit there is because what we feel in the vibration is something that could play out in that way but we would describe it a little bit differently when you're really ready when you're offering a vibrational signal that says I know what I want and I'm ready for what I want and I'm in alignment with what I want then the universe just delivers what you want and you say oh yeah this is it and he says oh yeah this is it and that's the end of the discussion in other words that's it but when you're offering a vibration that says I know what I want but I'm afraid to let myself have what I want or I've never been able to get what I want or even more importantly if I let myself really want that I might be setting myself up for greater discomfort if something happens so your vibration says I want you I don't want you I want you I don't want you I want you I don't want you I want you but I'm afraid of you I want you but I'm afraid you won't stay that's what your vibration says so guess who comes hmm. yeah so that's yeah. why you say I think he was feeling more than he will admit to because a part of him was matching up with that pure part of your vibration but that other part of him came in response to that other part of your vibration too you see mm -hmm. so you got to clean up your vibration yeah, so how do I get to the point of doing that well you hear the very poignant words that we offered earlier the distance that you are traveling from Phoenix to San Diego in this example feels like I'm traveling from not having a partner to having a partner feels like I'm traveling from living alone to having someone to live with but you're not it is an emotional distance I'm traveling from loneliness to a sense of fulfill mm -hmm. I'm traveling from a feeling of loneliness to a feeling of security it is the feeling that is the distance mm -hmm. you're wanting to move the feeling distance mm -hmm. so you offer words that soothe that so just ramble a little bit talk to us about the subject of relationships and we will indicate with our emotional set point meter which way you're going does it feel pessimistic hopeful or pessimistic impossible mm -hmm. pessimistic hopeful yeah it's right there mm -hmm. so now you want it you don't think it's coming you hope it comes you don't think it's coming you'd like to be Pollyanna but you've had too much experience you, exactly so now you know where your set point is so now your work is not to find a partner your work is to move the emotion you're reaching for less pessimistic so the words that you offer and the conversation that you offer is all about moving energy in you and changing that emotion in your solar plexus so now just ramble and we'll all feel which way you're going mm -hmm. in other words are you closing the gap between Yuma and San Diego or are you on your way back to Phoenix we'll be able to feel and so will you yeah. so just ramble the kinds of things that you usually say don't okay. try to say what you think we want to hear just mm -hmm. talk about relationships 
in the way you usually have self dialogue or talk with someone else and let's feel what happens okay um, well after the last relationship I was like oh I did it again I was wrong I made a mistake all right so now you can feel which way we're going so put your brakes on and when possible make a legal u-turn <laughs> and try to say something that clearly takes you the other way in other words you can't make too big of a jump but just try to be more optimistic or a little less pessimistic yeah, well he was more honest than um, the last partners I've had um, it was a more tender experience than anything I'd experienced it was right. I was the most open All right. I'd ever been go slowly and think now what's this doing in other words as you talk about that what's that doing to your emotion does it make you miss him does it make you long for him did those words make you feel better or worse it made me feel worse it did didn't they yeah. so spit them out <laughs> and try to find something that makes you feel a little better yeah I want him to change his mind I want him to stay I want him to want me I want to be wanted for me and and no one else that doesn't feel any better does it mm -mm. so keep talking um, I'm just tired of being angry yeah. about it yeah we're yeah. on the way back to yeah. Phoenix yes yeah it's all right yeah. just just keep reaching you're just reaching for some relief that's what you're reaching for mm -hmm. you're not trying to explain it so much as you're just trying to find a way to give yourself some relief it's okay to feel bad um, so what if it only lasted a month I can still be at sad and angry about it um, and it's okay you know, just to be where I am that does feel better doesn't it yeah so it's sort of an acceptance somewhere mm -hmm. keep talking yeah and I'm frustrated that that's where I'm always gonna be that I'm not gonna get to where I want to go next all right now let's talk about this where's frustration on this realm of pessimism better or worse um. frustration pessimism well they're pretty close vibrations yeah, so very close. so you didn't hurt yourself much and you didn't gain much so ramble there and let's see if we can get any good out of this frustration yeah well I feel like I'm just stuck in this groove you know that I'm just driving the car in the same rut basically that's what it feels like and I'm not going forward or backwards like I'm just starting and stopping and well she is taking a little more control in those statements she doesn't feel so much like a victim we think that those statements are feeling a little bit better but not very much so keep rambling you're reaching for something that gives you a feeling of relief yeah and this is where I get stuck like I don't know what the next thought well, it's is because it's because you think that the next thought is about what to do when really the next thought is just about soothing you in other words I don't have to get it all at once there should be some joy in the journey I'm gonna love bringing myself into the position of being adored I think I'll practice being adored before I attract someone to adore me I think I'll practice the feeling of being adored and I think I'll practice the feeling of adoring someone I'm just gonna practice that feeling I'm gonna look for evidence of it out there oh I can tell they adore each other oh they adore each other I like that feeling I'm gonna practice that feeling of adoring each other you see mm -hmm. yes that's really what you're wanting to do you're a little bit afraid of adoring mm -hmm. from past experience and so that's sort of what's stuck but you can feel that that's what's necessary can't you yes absolutely have fun with it be easy about it and in the meantime be playful about it in other words the next one that comes say well I want you to know that I'm looking for a life partner but don't worry I've already figured out you're not it so, <laughs> le <laughs> so let's just have fun <laughs> I'm looking for the love of my life and you're close but you're really not it so don't worry I'm, I'm not gonna hook you in and make you stay but meanwhile want to have some fun In other words, then, and, and then say uh, pa pardon me but I'm looking for a perfect relationship and you have quite a few of the qualities I'm looking for but there are a lot missing do you mind if I just mine you a little bit for data for a little while and then then I'll be done with you soon enough and we can go our separate ways but meanwhile I will have get in other words that's what's happening no one wants to admit it no one wants to admit that uh, I'm just feeling time with you while I get more and more clear about what I'm doing but really that's what everybody is doing you see and so don't feel bad about it but have fun with it mm -hmm. yes thank you yes indeed <laughs>